Hi and welcome to the last episode in the series of how to make your own game in Unity. Now basically we have almost completed our game. We have an enemy, we have uh, the collectible objects. Now what we are going to do is we are going to complete this game and make it playable. So to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another level. I'm going to make my enemy also a prefab object. Put it here. And the enemy, the enemy is now a prefab object. And I'll make the player also a prefab object so I can use it in every level. And let me see everything is all right. Yes, the script is good. The collectible script is good. The enemy script is good. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll just duplicate the scene. Uh, this is not a good way to do it. Uh, it is always better that you make your scene individually because you then you can change many of the stuff you want but for the game's sake and for our information sake i'm just duplicating the scene i'll open this scene save now we have the same level what i'm going to do is i'm going to change some of the levels i'm going to move this uh, make it a bit smaller Rotate it. Move back. This is looking a bit odd. Uh, okay. Rotate it at ninety. Just touching the wall. Yep. And I will make some transition to. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do just to make the two levels different. And I'll see map. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a menu screen and an end screen so again i'll go to file new scene name it as save it as scenes and i'll name it one to end credits okay so as it is in only a credit scene i will do a 2d and create a canvas now we have the canvas and that I need to create a panel which I'm going to color to a bit of orange Credit panel on this. I'm going to create text objects and hold center and name it as credit text. In this, I like. Thank you for playing Change the text to Maxel And uh, before changing the font size, I'll change it to 300 And something like 40 
and here I'm going to do a 39 case auto bonds font size is okay 30 good center I'm not getting the holes so I'm increase the width to 400 yeah hmm this is coming in the middle of the screen and move it to top and a bit This looks good. Now I am going to put inside this. I am going to create another text in this hierarchy and name it as credits. And I am going to write on telephone center. made by straight up tick same again around 400 40 and give this text to something like 35 ah. I think 20 is good and move that to the center then I'm going to create a UI object button which is also the child of this panel now at some point you need to exit your game so I am going to create an exit button for that exit the text button will be name it as exit 2 I want to use maxo and move sorry move the button to the center Okay, I'm not going to use any image. The color is looking good. And what I want to do is to make it more attractive, I will add a component shadow. To the button and this one and this two. So you will see uh, this so you will see a small shadow of the button on the screen now i think this is looking good yep this is looking good just save it now what i want to do is i want to animate the screen so again i'll click on credit panel windows and animation create an animation I'm going to write and screen and add property instead of adding property what I'm going to do is I'll start by recording and as before we are going to make all the things transparent. We need this. Made by credit will also be transparent. I make the button also transparent. And the text inside it also be transparent. See, this is the simplest way to go there are many other ways to go but this is the simplest way to go so i'm teaching you this right now so at around 30 i want my text to be visible 
so for that i'm going to do this are the recording then i'm going to do this so these two will be visible by 30 seconds and by 1 second i want my buttons to be visible so this and So we'll just save it and check it out. Okay, I'm not seeing my exit button. One text. Okay, it just was not recording, I guess. Text. Now the keyframe is created. Now we can check this again. Yep, this is going good. So. We have done this now. We go to my credit panel, and we need this button to work. So to do that, we'll add a component, new script, and name the script as watch two. We'll add component, and we will name the script as exit game new script and create an ad. Now you have a exit game script. We'll put this inside the script folder and double click it to open. Now in this, I'm going to remove the function which we don't need. Uh, sorry. We are going to make a function void quit this is very hard sometimes and that we are going to write debug dot log and application quit as we are still working in the environment and we will test the game in the environment so we will just display a message to the log because it is not going to quit the application actually so to do the app and if you are exporting the game if you are exporting the game and you want to actually quit the application then you have to write the function application dot quit so this will simply quit the application and take you back to your home screen. Save it. Go back to Unity. And in our button, we are going to use this function here. Press mark. Now since we have we have written our code in the credit panel so we will use the credit panel here function exit game see quit save it now when you play this and make the quick exit you will see console exit game and one more thing which we have to do is we have to go back to our animation credit panel the end screen and don't want to loop it save it so this is your end credit scene which is ready now with the end credit scene itself we can create our menu screen so we will duplicate it and the end credit one i'm going to name it as menu open this canvas credit panel now i'm going to write the name as menu panel credit 
texts are to be written as we will name the game here uh, something like maze game in the credits we will name this as game text in the credit we are going to write press play to start and towards this or we can completely remove it they don't need that uh, button system we'll name this as play and play and you name this button as play so you now have your menu screen and we are we have made a very simple menu screen and then we just have the name and the play button so you can get the hang of it what is actually happening in the game for this we are not going to use any animations and In the script, we are going to name remove the script from here. We are just going to write a start game script. Simple. Create an ad. In the start game script. We are going to remove it, make a public void function, name it start. Actually already start is there, so we will name it something like game start. Now you will used to have using unity engine dot scene management. And this you have to write scene management scene manager dot load scene scene manager dot get active scene dot build index plus one now for this to actually work you need to have all your scenes in your build index folder for that we will go back to unity file build settings now this is is your build index now we don't have anything in here right now but we can copy it copy the screens and put it here and we will move this see so now your menu is at zero then your next level is one so whenever i press play I start with this screen so to check it out we will just save it close it then again I have to do move the menu panel here select the start game function and game start okay so now we have our index ready we have our play button ready so as soon as I press play and Okay, the game starts see this is how this works and it is a restarting also now what what to do when we need to change the level to move to the next level we need to complete this level and tell unity that the level has been completed and you move to next level so to do that I'm going to uh, I'm going to update my score update script so what I'm going to do is I'm simply gonna 
write an if condition if update score is greater than equals to 7 since there are 7 collectibles I need to call the function find object of type game manager dot in the game manager I need to make okay this is public void level complete so level complete so what this will do is whenever my score is greater than 7 it will call the level complete function what this level complete function will do it will do scene manager dot load scene scene manager dot get active scene dot build index plus one So it is going to do the same function as the one we created in the menu function. So whenever the level complete function is called, it will update the build index scene. So let us play our game now. So let me go to the first screen and start play. As soon as you press play, and play you collect all the correct and you collect all the collectibles five six see now you are on the next level and once you will complete this level level yeah this is the whole game and you press exit and you will see that the game is complete so guys this was all for our series how to make a simple game in unity i hope you can now make a very basic game in unity and try it out for yourself do subscribe to our channel and press on the bell icon so you never miss a video again until next time Thank you.